Were you going to do that too? I was going to do that. That's what I was planning on doing. No, that's what I was planning on doing. Okay, well. And then I thought you were just going along with me. No, I was going to do that, and then you did it. And then I was like, oh. well, I'm going to go along because I was already going to do that. That's really funny. We just finished watching a video of the Once Upon a Time panel at San Diego Comic Con. Um, we kind of we're kind of trying to treat it like an episode, so we just watched the whole panel, uh, which was about like 40 minutes minus the video or the videos they showed. Um, Joseph might have more to say on it than I will because I like to comment on after watching an episode and just talking about the show itself, where she likes to talk about all the fandoms and whatnot. Whereas I have like a little bit less to say about that, but I'll still comment here and there. Jennifer Goodwin's freaking hair. She looks so killer. Like she looks amazing. I saw that picture on Instagram yesterday, um, which is when the panel happened and everyone was putting up Instagram pictures and tweeting stuff. And it was a selfie with her. I don't know if it was a selfie, but it was a picture of her and Rebecca in the car on the way to the panel. And she had the glasses on and her tongue was sticking out. She looked so good. I like it a lot. It reminds me of like your old hair. Oh, and I had the whole like yeah. whitish granny As hair. You guys probably remember. Yeah. I think she looks awesome. And I don't I want her to keep it. I don't think they're gonna keep it for the show. Well, yeah, they probably won't have it for the show. I hope she doesn't die back. She looks so good. And I feel like she's reinventing herself and she just had a baby and now she's like, okay, this is the new me. And I think Josh Dallas thinks it's really hot. There was an interview, um, <laughs> I don't know what interview it was with um, what outlet, but it was on YouTube and it was one of the round table interviews and it was him and Jennifer and the video starts off with, oh, like, so you say you like brunettes, but do you like lilacs? And he's like, yes, I do. Josh Dallas was like stoned for this entire Comic-Con thing. <laughs> if you watch the panel, like the whole time, there's a question asked, he's like, Wait, what's the question? <laughs> and like, like Jennifer Goodwill will have to like re, uh, say that re uh, explain the question to him. Maybe he was just really tired. Maybe he was up with the baby all night. Maybe. But we have this little inside joke where we just every interview we always watch Josh Dallas and we think that his reactions are so funny. He's always just kind of staring off, yeah, thinking we, to himself. Yeah. We'll, we'll describe his own inner, inner monologue of what's going on in all these interviews. Robert Carlos hat. I don't know if that's working for him. Kind of seems a little out of place. I think he's rocking it. He looks like he came, yeah, came back from the Bahamas. Yeah, it's like he just came off, came back from like vacation. He just like came off of a, of a plane and went to Comic Con. I think, all right, let's do this. I wish he had kept that thick accent on for the show, but I guess no one would understand him. I just had a realization. I didn't know that that's what Robert Carlyle's voice or like his accent actually sounded like. I've heard him talk in other movies, but I thought he was always putting it on. But his accent's kind of freaking hot, and I'm kind of turned on. Joseph's attracted to a lot of older men, though, so this shouldn't become as a shock to. He's not that old. Her. He's only 54. He's younger than Liam Neeson. He's a clear decade younger than Liam Neeson. Older Irish men are her thing. Is he Irish? Is that an Irish accent? Uh, I don't know, but I know Train Spotting Scotland. There wasn't as much Captain Swan as I was expecting. A lot of I mean, we got we got a lot of great moments um, with the this, which is weird. Like, it, it felt it felt so forced, right? Like, kind of like like so they said something about Captain Swan, and then right away, you know, Colin's trying to answer the question, and he's like, uh, 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 and then like she's and like forcing her head on it. And she's and he's like, oh. I just imagine she's like, do it for the gifts because like I guess the fan base going right just by her resting her head on her shoulder just for a second, it like sparks and ignites the fan yeah. base. Yeah, I think Jen and Colin know how big of a deal Captain Swan is and how crazy all the fans get. So I think part of them is very aware of what they do and they know all eyes are on them. So they try to be, you know, they try to please the fans here and there. But at the same time, I think that the, it's very genuine and that they are actually just really close and they're really good friends. Yeah, they and seem like if you watch the panel and they're like joking around and stuff, they seem like they're air close friends. Mm -hmm. I, wa I want to explain this without assuming anything Colifer, but because we got slapped on, slapped on the ham for that last time. And I feel like I'm disappointing a lot of people because people are probably like, oh, can't wait for Giselle's reaction. <laughs> yeah. But there wasn't really anything that made me 
scream. No, well, I don't know. Like, it is what it is. No, I, I just want to put it out there, too. I'm like, I don't know her name, but the girl who's in charge of, like, all the announcements for all this stuff. Yeah, the moderator. Yeah, the moderator. I'm not a fan of her. She kind of makes the whole thing really awkward at times. I feel differently. I really like her. Really? I... I like how she's just laying it down and she's, she's sometimes being funny. Sometimes, yeah. Well, I mean, I like what the questions they hit on and stuff, but I don't know. Also, um, did anyone else find it hilarious when that one, there's some girl, some fan who asked a question saying, uh, asking Colin if the author could grant you to change anything in your life, what would it be? And he's like, Colin? Like, like, Colin? Me? like me or the character? It seems like she was trying to touch on something that a lot of other people wanted to touch on. And he just like dodged that bullet. Or she genuinely wanted to know. Yeah. Overall, I thought it was a great panel. Um, nothing really too memorable for me. I mean, obviously the stuff that I'm going to remember is any call of her Captain Swan moment. Um, and they were really cute. And I thought, oh, by the way, another thought is Lana Prilla looked freaking hot. She's definitely the most attractive one on the whole panel, in my opinion. And her hair looks... She, She's she got like great... Tan. Everything's good that's going on with her. And Jay couldn't stop staring at her boobs. The minute she went, like opened up her hands, and then like Jay was like, oh yeah. And then she closed it, he's well, like, oh. I wasn't like, oh yeah. Yeah, you were. You sound like some pig. I'm not like that. <laughs> you were. She's, she's a pretty everything. Like, everything's perfect about her. That's why she's like the most attractive one. What do you think of the whole, like, the the dynamic between her, uh, Sean McGuire, and the girl who plays Zelina. I like how Rebecca and Lana are friends in real life. It was fun that people who play enemies on TV shows are actually really good friends <laughs> in real life. Ah, sorry. Bless you. But a lot of Outlaw Queen fans probably got what they wanted. Oh my. Mm. Because they were always hinting at each other and they were being cute. I don't know if there are people who actually hate Zelina. I feel like there are people who would actually hate her. Um, I, I really don't have any feelings towards Lena. I think she's a little annoying on the show. Um, but, you know, Robin and Regina are together, so I don't see her as a threat anymore. I feel like people who actually hate Zelina might have been a little annoyed by the three of them in this really cutesy, fun dynamic. Sean McGuire seems like a cool guy. He likes to have fun with everything, by the sounds of it. Yeah. Yeah, he sounds really cool. And then when Colin, like, made a joke about having two hands and wanting to touch something with his left hand. Yeah, well, it's because he used the adjective feel. If he didn't, like, say, like, oh, so I could feel things with my left hand, <laughs> or feel something with my left hand. Yeah, he's like, I want to feel something with my left hand. Like, like, that... You mean, like, jerking off? Or, like, just, like, boobs kind of thing. Oh. Like, because he's with, like, Evan. Swan. Jennifer was blushing a lot. Like, a lot of everything Colin said, she would always have a, a big reaction to it. Yeah, man, she's doing it for the gifts. Season five, Dark Swan. How did you feel about the promo? I think that if you take the eyebrows off of anyone, they'll start to look like a monster. If we just, can I touch your face? You yeah, might, here. See, you already looked creepy. Wait, turn your fingers over so you can't see the, there we go. See, you look like an, you look like an alien. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Oh. Take out my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, if you do that, anyone will look scary. But I think I'm I'm glad that she's clearly gonna have fun with that fun with that character. And I've heard from like loads of actors that it's always so much more fun to play the villain. Right? Yeah, totally. But I'm sure she'll have fun with like a new wardrobe. I think she I think she did a really good job. Even the way she's talking, she's like, my name is Emma. I mean, Emma's so not, creepy. Emma's not a very intimidating name, but you can make it if you treat. Yeah, it. and how? So I assume she just gets sent to the Enchanted Forest or Camelot or wherever the heck she is and she just ends up being in this, yeah. this jail cell, but is she gonna be aware? Like, wait a minute, I took the dagger and now I'm the dark one and now I'm here. Okay, I guess I'll just embrace the darkness. I feel like she just has like a lust for like whatever darkness people have. I wanna talk about her look for a second. Um, more, more, dig deeper into that. With the dark one who, before Rumple, as we saw in season four with the sorcerer and the dagger. Remember the, there was one other dark one before Rumple, and there was a little, he had a little cameo with the, with the apprentice. Do you remember that? Mm, no. Anyway, so he looked exactly like Rumple. His face was all glittery and looked like a crocodile. Um, and then Rumple became the dark one. Then he looked the exact same way as the one before him. So I was 
telling, I don't even know who I was telling, but my thoughts are that Emma should look that way. Because why would she look different? So you think she'll be sparkly and all No, like... she's clearly not. Because we already saw what she looked like. But I think that... Well, we didn't really get a good look at her because, like, they're only bootleg copies, right? We can't... There's no official release of that trailer yet. Yeah, so... but they're pictures. Like, HD pictures. Oh. Yeah, I saw a little bit of glitter on her face. Which is fine. But I like how she's super pale and the dark lips. Or the red, or dark red lips. Um, I don't know, she looked really creepy and I'm really looking forward to that. Marita, who is going to be another character. We haven't seen Brave. Oh yeah. So I don't really know the, I don't really know the appeal. I was never interested in seeing Brave. Neither so, was um, She's Irish? Scottish? I don't know. I don't, yeah, so I don't see yeah, the appeal. Same. If someone wants to let us know, like, uh, why this should be exciting or why we should be yeah. excited for it. Well, cool actually, stuff. no, we'll do. We'll watch the movie. We will? Yeah. I think it's important. <laughs> I guess we did that for Frozen, right? We yeah, watched, we did it for Frozen. Even though it's kind of weird, I guess we didn't see that movie. It's probably going to be someone's daughter, or someone's cousin, or someone's sister. I've heard someone say that it might be Robin and Zelina's daughter because of the the arrow and because she has red hair. That makes too much sense. That's like too much sense. And on the panel, they were asking about Camelot, which is the new setting of um, season five. And I assume Marita, if I'm saying her name right or wrong, correct me, um, Marita is going to be in Camelot, I'm assuming. And Eddie and Adam were saying on in the panel, like, oh, Camelot exists in the past um, or in the present or maybe in the future. Well, they said in a parallel universe so that it's not connected to the timeline that they're all in. So it could be in the future. So it could be their daughter. So like everything that happens in Camelot. Yeah, I don't know. Could exactly. be in the future. To be honest, this whole like Camelot, uh, I guess, theme that's going to be happening along with Marita, I'm a little bummed out by it because the whole knights and medieval times type sort of scenery and themes, it just, I don't know, it gets kind of stale after a while, right? I know I very much so belongs in this kind of universe, but I'd like to see something more like. Yeah. Um. Magical. I'm. I'm only excited about Camelot because, I. I doubt anyone here is a fan of the musical, um, but, the musical back in the sixties. But I was a huge. I was a huge fan of it. Back in the sixties when she was around. No, but I mean, like, I'm. I'm really into Broadway and musical theater. See, so then you could date Robert Carlyle and Liam Neeson, if you were born back in the sixties. Yeah, I could. But anyway, so I'm really into that, and there was a musical that Julie Andrews was in, and as you guys know, I love Julie Andrews. Um, she was in Camelot, and she played Queen Guinevere. So ever since I found out about that musical, I've kind of, I had a little phase where I was really into Camelot and the stories between Lancelot and King Arthur and Merlin and whatnot. So I'm excited to see where it goes in Once Upon a Time turns, but I know that the, the world of Once Upon a Time is, it breaks all rules. I'm very excited because of Dark Swan. If this whole Dark Swan thing wasn't happening, I wouldn't really be excited. Yeah, There's yeah. Nothing the, dark, the Dark Swan thing is definitely like the hook, for sure. No pun intended. I'm more excited for this season than I was leading up to the Frozen storyline. I just wanted to say another reminder because we're probably not going to put up another video in the next week because we're super busy. As once again, you guys know with the Cineplex contest, I just wanted to throw it out there again to please, please, please vote for me. There's only one more week left of voting. Mm -hmm. That. I'm holding the link. Oh, you know that if people watch on their phones, the link doesn't pop up. So it's just gonna look like we're doing this. Oh. But please, 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 please vote for me. Vote every day. Share it with your friends. Um, I just really, really, really need to make the top three, and it would honestly mean the world to me. And if you don't, I'm just we're gonna cut off this YouTube channel and never make videos ever again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's I'm just, not true. I'm just kidding. We wouldn't do but that. Yeah, like we, we, need, we, need, we need all the support we can get when we're reaching out. I mean, family and friends can only take us so far. We've been reaching out to anyone and, every, and everyone. And definitely having like a small little committed fan base for really our helps. bunch of videos, yeah, that helps a lot. And I'm sure half of our numbers have come from you guys. So mm -hmm. keep up the support if we can. Yeah. Uh, this has been like a second job for us. And there's still a week left of this. So... Yeah, I mean, like, after this, after we film this video, we're gonna actually film 
another video. another video for the cineplex thing so, so. yeah um, but that is all and hopefully next time we talk on camera I will be the next cineplex house hopefully uh, hopefully that, yeah. can lead, that can lead to interviews to so like you know once more time yeah it can lead to Jennifer Morrison interview so hello if you guys want that 